Um, so my name is Charles Dupont. I'm a program manager at L'Estrie Community Health Center. Uh, L'Estrie is a francophone organization that serves the uh, five eastern counties of, uh, of Ontario. So we're basically east of Ottawa, all the way to the uh, border of uh, the province. Um, and um, I'm a program manager. I actually manage the diabetes education program and I'm in charge of quality improvement, so I'm not in community health. However, I manage a, a site in a small rural town called Bourget, and my site was volunteered by my ED to, uh, <laughs> to, to sort of have a, an initiative concerning the uh, Canadian Index of Well-Being. And uh, one of the issues that we were having is that Bourget is in the same postal code as uh, a township uh, called Clarence Rockland. So when we looked at the uh, census data and the data from the uh, community surveys, we couldn't get any real data on our local community. What we would get was on the township. And Bourget, uh, Clarence Rockland, I mean, is a bedroom community of Ottawa. So uh, what we were finding is that uh, it had a higher income, higher education level, um, Really, not the, the the profile that we would see in in our in our C, CHC uh, clients. So, um, I met with uh, with Gary, and we were discussing about the um, CIW questionnaire, which is a sort of a, a derivative of the CIW developed by the University of Waterloo. And uh, we thought that we could use that questionnaire to um, go and assess. Uh, the, the well-being of our local community and that uh, being part of this huge initiative with the uh, early adopters, we would be able to compare uh, the Bourget data with the rest of the respondents and show how, um, well, basically how poor or bad uh, our, our clients are and then be able to go back to the, the partners and the municipalities and, and tell them, well, you need to work specifically in uh, that domain or that domain. So uh, our Bourget community doesn't have any transport. They're isolated. So let's work on establishing, for example, public transportation toward Ottawa, etc. So it was really to identify uh, specific needs compared to uh, other communities. Um, so, um, my uh, community health worker uh, really got involved in this project, and uh, I don't know if you've read the reports, but uh, Bourget, which is like a really a small site uh, in a small community, gathered 38% uh, of all the, uh, the data that we have so far on the uh, CIW questionnaire. So, um, close to 40%. And uh, we were really excited to, uh, to look at the data and especially to compare the, the, data, uh, the data from Bourget to the, the rest of the respondents. So we got the University of Waterloo uh, to reanalyze the data and pull out uh, the Bourget data from the total sample and uh, send us the results. And we were quite surprised. We were surprised because the data that we got, the results that we got, were completely the opposite of what we had expected. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, the respondents from Bourget had, uh, I mean, I'm just going to read, uh, read a few results, but um, lower, lower education level than the rest of the samples, higher full-time employment, and I'm talking 65% full-time employed compared to 24% for the rest of the sample. Uh, higher income, 36% um, were over 80,000 compared to 23% for the rest of the sample. Um, of course, more French speaking, 51% uh, compared to 16. In terms of housing, 82% of the Bourget uh, respondent owned their own home compared to 63%. In terms of social support, um, we were like uh, completely uh, blown away. Uh, more close relative, more more close friends, more close neighbors, uh, more people thought that people in general could be trusted, etc., etc. Health. Um, 
rated their, fit, their physical health as very good or excellent in 45% of cases, compared to 25% for other respondents. Uh, mental health, good, uh, very good or excellent, 65%. What? Uh, satisfied or very satisfied with their life, 83%. What had gone wrong? <laughs> I mean, this is not who we, we saw in, in, our, in our site. Th this is not the picture that uh, my, my doctors, my nurse practitioner, my nurses, my mental health worker come and tell me about. Um, and then we realized the mistake that we had done. The, the CIW questionnaire is a self-administered questionnaire that takes about an hour to complete. So my um, community health worker had gone into the community, into organized group, had lobbied, and had distributed hundreds of questionnaires to these folks at the uh, Knights of Columbus and these um, at the food bank and all, all these organizations that were like in Bourget. And well, from whom do you think that we got the surveys back? From those that were highly motivated to get involved in their community, those that were educated enough to answer a one hour questionnaire. Answering a one hour questionnaire means that you have spare time. Having spare time often means that you have spare money uh, or that you're uh, wealthy enough to, to enjoy that time. So I, I think that was, we, we realize now that there was a, a, in, uh, an errant flawed. I'm sorry, my English sometimes. Uh, uh, there was, our design was flawed in, in having people choose to answer our, our surveys. So it is possible that this is a subsample of the Bourget community. So um, after a few meetings and lots of, uh, of thinking, um, what we decided to do is uh, take this thing to the, the next step. And uh, we're actually uh, looking for uh, hire, uh, to hire either a part-time worker or some students to, uh, to do a, uh, th the same questionnaire, exactly the same, but getting our clients to answer the, 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 the same questionnaire. If need be, we'll sit down with them, we'll, we'll read it to, to them, and we'll walk them through, uh, possibly in groups of two or three, or, or if not individually. And then we'll have actually two samples. Uh, the uh, volunteer sample of the so-called Bourget community and our clients that, uh, that, that do come to the community health center. And we'll reanalyze the data, this time with probably a statistical analysis, and, uh, and see where our client need, uh, needs are, um, and then try to uh, aim our community initiatives based on those results. So that's what we've been doing. 